In the Arabian desert in Yemen, a nomad witnesses something falling from the sky. When heading towards it, the creature decloaks its invisibility shield, revealing a metallic scaly hybrid skin and attacks the man. In New York, Anisha Malik rushes to her children's school after being notified that all of the children, including her daughter Sarah, had suddenly gotten a nosebleed, but not her son Luke. Things go from bad to worse for Anisha, while later that night she discovers and witnesses her husband Ahmed cheating on her. When he then returns home, she confronts him about his affair. But before the situation can further escalate, all the houses in their neighborhood shake and lose power. Across the Pacific Ocean in Japan, astronaut Hinata prepares to leave for the International Space Station in the Hoshi 12 shuttle when her secret lover Mitsuki comes to say goodbye. When the Hoshi 12 is then in orbit, Hinata is killed when something hits and tears off a big part of the shuttle. Back in the United States, in a small town called Ida Bell in Oklahoma, the recently retired Sheriff Bell enters a mysterious crop circle and is killed by something lurking in the dark. At the Malik's house, the family shelters in the basement while the whole neighborhood is falling apart. When Luke then also hears voices in his head shouting the word Wayo and is hurt by it, Anisha decides to leave her home. Just when they are about to leave, Ahmed reveals that he was planning to leave her for Amanda, his mistress. In London, Casper, an introverted and silent boy, goes on a school trip with his classmates, among whom also his bully Monty and his newly made friend Jamila. But before reaching their destination, Casper has a seizure, while at the same time debris is falling from the sky, forcing their bus off track and plummeting into a ravine. In Tokyo, Mitsuki learns of the fact that the Hoshi 12 has stopped communicating and that JASA, the Japanese space agency, presumes the astronauts to be dead. Some 10,000 kilometers to the west in Afghanistan, US soldier Trevante and his squad are investigating a missing unit when they are directed by an Afghan boy bleeding from his nose to a sandstorm in the distance. But after reaching the sandstorm, he and his squad find an immense alien creature and shoot at it, but to no avail, with the creature then forcing them away. Miraculously having survived the creature's attack, Trevante finds himself lost, wounded, alone and extremely dehydrated. When trying to find his unit, he stumbles upon Kuchi, an Afghan man who offers him water and companionship. In London, it turns out that all of the children have come out of the bus crash unscathed, except for their teacher, Mr. Edwards, who is gravely injured. Having left their home behind, the Maliks flee New York. While at a fueling station, Ahmed is racially harassed by some other men due to his skin color, since the attacks and power outages are compared with 9-11. Recognizing that the invasion puts people of their heritage at even greater peril than the average white American, Anisha steals a car and leads her family to the safety of a hotel. Back at JSA, Mitsuki and her colleague Kaido break into the communication room and discover footage of what has happened to the astronauts. More importantly, she also uncovers an audio file embedded in the footage, which is repeating the word Wayo, the same word that Luke heard in his head over and over. After having been led by Kuchi to a higher area, Trevante's tracker finally picks up a signal. Following that signal leads him to a hospital where he finds Chavez, one of the soldiers from his unit. However, the hospital is then attacked by terrorists, but Trevante manages to kill some of them and escape with Chavez, only for Chavez to die in their getaway car. Back on US soil, a state of emergency is called into effect, with the military evacuating the Malik's hotel. During the evacuation, Anisha learns that Amanda is pregnant and wants to rip Ahmed's head off, but somewhat composes herself. After being back on the road again, Luke goes missing into the woods, but is eventually found after being taken in by an elderly couple, Patrick and Kelly Mitchell. When in London Mr. Edwards dies from his wounds, Casper decides to climb out of the ravine, with his fellow classmates following him. At JSA, Mitsuki is fired for her insubordination and is unable to convince her superiors of the origin of the strange audio waves. Desperate, she visits Hinata's father, Ikuro, an audio engineer, and gains an ally in her mission to uncover what is really going on. In Afghanistan, Trovanti goes back to his base, where he learns that the troops have made contact with the alien arrivers and retreated to the airbase in Kabul. 
In London, Casper and his classmates stumble upon a food delivery truck and hear on the radio about the worldwide invasion, followed by a high-pitched alien frequency, with Casper's epilepsy allowing him to also hear the aliens. Meanwhile in New York, Anisha is approached by the military while on a supply run. The military recruits her due to her medical background and she is brought to a shelter where she, together with a Dr. Barton, finds an alien substance latched onto her patient during an operation. Back in Tokyo, Mitsuki heads back to Jaisa and tries to convince her superior Hashimoto that the strange audio must mean something. Eventually Hashimoto confirms her suspicion and reveals that the audio is being investigated by linguists and that an American delegation is on their way in a collaboration to figure out what the audio means. It is then that the US president addresses the world on live television and reveals that we are not alone in the universe and that something has come visiting us. After hearing the president's alien invasion speech, Anisha runs back to the Mitchells house. Once there, Patrick lifts her in the attic, where her family and the Mitchells are hiding from the alien which has invaded the house. When Sarah then falls through the attic floor, Anisha follows her and they hide from the alien, which is trying to find them. But it finds and kills Kelly instead, giving Ahmed and Luke their window to escape. However, Ahmed is attacked by the creature, while Anisha, Luke and Sarah flee outside. Patrick then throws Anisha the keys to his car, just before he's killed by the alien. The surviving trio hurries inside the car, where they are then attacked by the monster. Anisha empties a magazine on it point blank and attacks it with a pipe, but to no avail. Desperate, she picks up a claw-like, presumably alien-made object, which Luke was carrying with him all the while, and stabs the alien with it, who is surprisingly quick, killed by it. After the monster is defeated, Ahmed shows up, wounded, and is helped in the car by his wife. Ahmed's condition becomes critical and Anisha is forced to save his life. They then head to Northview College, an emergency evacuation site protected by the military, where Anisha and Dr. Barton are reunited. Back in Afghanistan, Travante is on his way to Kabul Air Base, when a local family tells him that the base has been wiped out by the invading aliens. Grateful for the information, Travante offers the family a ride to the airport in Kabul, where he barters his assault rifle for passage on the last flight out of there for him and the family. Meanwhile, Casper and his gang lift to downtown London, where the group splits apart, with Jamila joining Casper. Being alone with her, he tells her that he's able to listen in on the aliens when he's having a seizure. Still trying to locate the source of the strange audio waves and find out what has happened to her lover Hinata, Mitsuki lies her way into a satellite station to uncover the real story. She discovers that the aliens communicate and operate via a hive mind system and just when she's about to locate the Hoshi signal, she's arrested by the military. Arriving in London, Travante is told that all flights are grounded and realizes that he is stuck in England and cannot make it to his wife and son in the United States. Meanwhile in the US, Luke, together with his family and others, discovered that his claw has a repelling effect on anything alien made. Also in London, Casper and Jamila reach Casper's house, only to find his mother killed by the aliens. Feeling guilty, since he had foreseen and heard the aliens before they had made contact, he vows to make them stop. While visiting a bar, they encounter and recruit Travante. In Tokyo, Mitsuki is brought to Jaisa, where she manages to be put in charge of trying to communicate with the aliens. But realizing that the aliens' language is undecipherable, she starts transmitting photos and videos of Hinata on all frequencies, stating that she is showing us humans to the aliens. To everyone's surprise, a message is sent back, consisting of just one word on a continuous loop. Wyo. Travante, Casper and Jamila head to a hospital and convince a neurologist to induce a seizure in Casper to allow him to talk to the aliens and make them stop. However, before Casper can complete his task, aliens start attacking the hospital. Meanwhile at Northview College, the authorities find out about the offensive capabilities of the CLAW and decide to transport the Maliks to the Pentagon. But while en route, the convoy is attacked by distrusting citizens and Ahmed is seemingly killed while buying time for his family to escape. In Tokyo, Hinata makes contact with Mitsuki, but it is soon revealed that the real Hinata died when her shuttle was attacked and that the aliens used her body to talk to Mitsuki. 
Back at the hospital, Travanti and the kids are overwhelmed by the numerous aliens, but Casper manages to make them stop by using his connection with them. It is then that the presumed alien mothership is nuked out of the sky by the US general in Tokyo, with everyone witnessing the fireball plummeting to the planet. With the aliens seemingly defeated, the world is celebrating its survival. However, Mitsuki is devastated after learning that Hinata is most certainly dead. Using a satellite, she tries to communicate with whoever or whatever is out there. Meanwhile, Casper has slipped into a coma due to his exhaustive talk with the aliens and is eventually declared dead. But later has a sort of dream in which Ikuro hands him a compass. Before heading home, Travante is told by a US representative that the aliens were trying to terraform the planet using the secretion from their bodies. However, Travante has heard enough and heads back home to his wife and starts rebuilding their relationship. Somewhere else in the US, Anisha and her kids accept the loss of their husband and father and find shelter in an abandoned house. The alien presence seems to still exist when scientists approach a vibrating alien structure which seems to be the crashed mothership. But also because Mitsuki seems to have picked up a signal, Anisha senses that something is wrong and at the beach, Travante encounters a massive alien ship hovering over the ocean. Yeah. <laughs>